of the World Drill Cup. The very first match will be DJ Hameyama against RF. So DJ both have been RF played. Yeah, he did. They did, but for uh, for important tournaments, he still sticks to uh, obviously to uh, to um, to uh, our good old Faust, you know, because it's probably the character that he knows the best. Again, that being said, here we go with the start of the match, and immediately DJ Hameyama getting clipped by a bomb and pinned down by both the trumpets and the, uh, I suppose, the head bomb, I'd say. And here we go with a very, very nicely done 2D right there from DJ Hameyama. Here we go, he has RF in the corner. Let's see, oh, very nice double dash into the grab. Let's go RX, exactly. Lots of love for RX, but you should not discount DJ Hameyama. He's actually a very, very good Giovanna player. He's participated to previous iterations of the Brodo Cup, and he's definitely not to be trifled with. That's unfortunately a bad burst, but it's okay. Uh, thanks to the Trumpet, which uh, basically saved the day and prevented RF from getting close and punishing him. Okay, very nice aerial control from RF, man. Really preventing DJ Hameyama from ever getting in. And just like this, RF takes the first round. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go, very nice start of the round with the two uh, key from RF. He even manages to get the fishing rod, if I may call it. And very nice 2S right there into the Cyclone, the Typhoon. Again, a nice whiff punish. Couldn't get really anything out of it. And here we go with RF getting these Nanigaderu Kana and the Super Nanigaderu Kana again. Oh lord, this sounds, this seems very, very hard. Here we go with DJ Hameyama, completely pinned down by both the Afro and the Meteorites. And here we go with RF manages to catch not only the Trumpet, but also catch DJ Hameyama out of the air by using the Typhoon. And the first match goes to RF. A quick 1-0. to zero. Don't discount DJ Hameyama. He might need just a little bit of time to, uh, well, to basically, um, you know, to, to warm up. So we'll see how this goes. Hameyama-san still being a little bit shy of trying to get in. <laughs> Very nice jump over the banana to extend the pressure and not uh, get so basically well hit by it. Okay, here we go with the Super Naniga Derukana. Two bombs right there. What are you going to do? You're going to... A good, good jump over. But yeah, here comes the meteorites and the side exchange and the bad burst. And it also on his way down by the hammer. This is really unfortunate. And here we go again with DJ Hameyama not able to... to Quite simply, just get in, man. Every single one of uh, RF's movement have been in order to, um, well, to keep Hameyama out, if I might say. Here we go again with the control, the aerial control from RF. Man, it's impossible to get in. It's literally impossible. Very nice job by RF. Takes the first round. It was actually a pretty, pretty long round, but it's just that Hameyama cannot, does not find any entrance, man. Everything is being very well kept by RF, he does not want Hameyama to get any close to him. Not by a long shot, here we go with the trumpet yet again. Another trumpet this time around, maybe Hameyama might take it. Oh, it's right there, and he takes it. And of course, RF takes this opportunity to uh, head into the air. <laughs> here we go with Nani Gaderukana, and... Oh, that was a nice... Um, uh, that was unfortunate, though. Very nice use of the uh, of the uh, Nasante by uh, by Hameyama, but yeah, unfortunate man. RF is really covering every single one of the options of Hameyama, and it's just really hard for him to get in. We go again with the two P to interrupt any type of advance from Hameyama. <laughs> oh, here we go. Very nice uh, spiral error right there from DJ Hameyama. He couldn't quite get anything off of it, unfortunately. And here we go with the fishing rod again. Ah, oh, a little bit too late on, but nice recognition nevertheless. Nice attempt to try to anti him right there, but it was just a little bit too late. And go with little Faust just interrupting any advance. Oh my lord, it's so freaking hard, man. Oh lord, oh lord, and you're dead, yeah. Here we go with the extended combo and a quick... A quick, uh, we we're already on game set right there. RF definitely on point as always. Here we go with the run up grab. Finally, Hameyama may find some opening right there. Again, with the cross up, very nice mixes right there. Just mixes his options up, not just going for regular hit confirms, but also with dashes into grab. Very nice wall break. Finally, Hameyama gets something going. Let's see if it's not too late. Ah, uh -huh. oh, very nice confirm right there from RF. <laughs> oh, and that's 6P, and 
manages to take it with the OTG. Very nice job from Hameyama, finally manages to take something. Let's see how this pans out again with RF and the 2P to try to interrupt any advancements from Hameyama. Oh, that was close. <laughs> ah, here we go with Hameyama getting hit by the overhead. In the corner, unfortunately for him, and manages to get out, actually. Let's see if he can get anything out of it. <laughs> here we go with RF. Hitting with the quick dust into the RC is gonna get the wall break. How is this going to pan out again with the 2P man? Look at the checks from RF man. Our Hamiyama is pinned down on the ground. He cannot advance any further. And just as I say, this finally managed. Oh, but gets skip. No, the recovery of his grab gets hit. Be really, really awesome if it's the case. <coughs> Please work. Hmm. Yay! Oh, now we did it. Perfect. We're in. Okay, here we go. Finally, we were able to get in. So this time around, as I was saying earlier, Caffeine, very good Jackal player. He hasn't been participating to the Brojo Cup recently, but by in my, uh, in my, how do you say, in my um, souvenirs, not my souvenirs, in my uh, memories, <laughs> he was extremely strong. As in like Yamase type of very strong. Yamase, a very good Jackal, Japanese Jackal player. <laughs> So as you can see, Kaffrin really doing a good job of... Oh lord! Almost got hit right there. <laughs> Here we go with the heavy stroke. Who said that this move was dead? It is not. Well, actually it is. But it's okay. Ice doing a very good job of... of basically keeping the pressure and even was awarded with a wall break right there. Did it, decided not to use the tension bar though. Very nice use of the node right there. That was crazy good. Oh my lord. There we go with a very hefty... A feisty six period there from Caffeine to get ice off of him. <laughs> ice and Caffeine. <laughs> That's a pretty freaking uh, funny uh, coincidence. Here we go with the the conversion by Caffeine. Manages to snatch it away from Ca from Ice. Very nicely done. <laughs> Here we go with the 4K into the 6S right there from Caffeine. Manages to get something off of it. <laughs> Here we go with the three minions in the corner. <laughs> And the pressure is on, you have to hold it, you have to hold it. I have never understood what you're supposed to do in this, really in this current situation. You just have to hold it and here we go. Finally gets awarded with a heavy dust, uh, with a, with a quick dust, but given that uh, Ice had a full bar of wrist, the uh, quick dust actually was comboable. Unfortunately for Ice, he loses the first round and first, loses the first match and Caffeine takes it. So let's see if there's gonna be some sort of that adaptation with Ice, we shall see. Oh lord, and here we go. Very nice to get into to the buy ice and finally forces Caffeine to pop the burst. Very nice stroke right there from ice and my lord, Caffeine on point when it comes to really punishing these uh, extension attempts by using the sultry performance from Eno. Very nice. Man, Caffeine on point, man. Definitely not letting it up, man. Here we go with the fake, uh, the empty low yet again manages to find a D. Opening, okay, I do believe that I just wanted to do an MTLO this time around. It's okay, he still has it. Uh, I think he went for the for, for the Mega Omania. I'm pretty sure he did. Here you go with Caffeine using the Y or C to get out of this situation. J uh, oh my lord, and that, I, I can't even uh, really tell you which side this was on, what happened, I don't know. But Caffeine managed to take it very nicely. Here you go with the Sultry performance, instant Sultry performance at the start of the round by Ice. He's had it. He wants to hit buttons. Oh my lord, and the big cross up. Oh my lord, and here we go with the <laughs> two HS. Unfortunately, not comboed there by Ice. Oh, he, knew he uses the new buff of Eno right there to uh, immediately make use of the overdrive after using Sultry Performance. Here we go with the Schmixes and again with the grab. You can see Ice reluctant to use any sort of tech. He doesn't want to eat. Uh, uh, oh my lord, and speaking of it, he, di he didn't want to know the recognition by Caffeine, and just like this, Caffeine is going to take the second match as well. Very nicely done. Very nice punish of the burst. Well, not only punish, but bait of the burst into the, um, into the, um, the, the, the overdrive. <laughs> and here we go, immediate burst by Caffeine. <laughs> Excuse me, for the cough. Mm. And here we go, Ice yet again in the corner. Has to take all sorts of pressure. 
and finally forced to burst and my lord the 6 hs counter hit this is going to do actually some uh, pretty hefty amount of damage but especially caffeine will uh benefit from but it really doesn't really matter since ice didn't have a lot of of health left and unfortunately for him that was enough to seal the deal here we go with the hover into hs counter hit ice with some pretty nice all you can say is may god be with you yeah that's exactly it man once once uh jacko has you in the corner with like two three minion with also <clears throat> uh, the extended like buff that she gives them it's basically over you can like you can literally put your controller down i don't i don't see how you're supposed to come back from that but that being said <clears throat> i is doing a good job of taking this round <clears throat> let's see if he can ah oh, lord let's see if he can yeah make something happen can't wait to lose to RF Sensei. Nah, don't say that, Gilda Bear. You can definitely make it. Joshua beat RF in tournament. You can definitely do it if you believe in you. Believe in you, believe in me, believe in you, man. <laughs> Here we go with the empty low. And Ice actually looking pretty good, but Taffin, man. This dude on point. No punish on the uh, the uh, 40 c unfortunately. And here we go with Ice getting hit by the counter hit, the 6HS counter hit. And he's gonna get hit by the, in the, uh, I forget the name, the infinite, um, uh, oh, the command grab, the overdrive of Caffeine. Ah, and finally gets hit by Caffeine. Very nicely though. That was gonna be Zeej versus RX. So Zeej, the, well, arguably the best uh, player in Singapore currently versus RX, who actually is using freaking uh, chip. Because as you know, RX, well, most of you guys, if you have uh, watched previous iteration of the Brojo Cup, RF is actually a testament main, but he sometimes switches to chip and we don't know why, because he always ends up going back to testament and, and kicking the hell out of his opponent. So let's see if it's going to be the same thing this time around. Very nice Fukio into the into the bite right there and RX going finally ham with the mobility the mobile like potential of RX and a very big counter hit right there you're gonna go in stream XAD no you're, we're gonna go for an overdrive wall break this is going to guarantee a hard knockdown for RX who will be able to go ham even a little bit more and here we go what is this gonna do is this gonna do I want to check no problem oh and this yeah this um, uh oh Oh no! <laughs> My law! Now Zeej, what are you doing? You had it! Zeej, you had it! Wait, why did you drop it? Oh lord, and the 4k for the win, man! That was crazy! That was pretty hype, not gonna lie. I thought, I thought... Oh lord, and here we go with the immediate Fukio, back Fukio into the Beyblade. Counter hit this, did a ton of damage. Finally, RX forced to pop the burst right there but it wasn't without rx just deciding to id into hs and finally getting out of the corner let's see how this pans out okay he's trying to reset the neutral right there finds the opening with the 2s again with the 2s 5k man doing a good job of keeping rx in the corner and here we go with the recognition of rx that zeej was out there throwing uh far s's around uh, far h around oh and here we go with the quick dust for the first round uh, not the first round, the first match for Zeech takes it 1-0. to zero. Let's see if RX... Yeah, here we go, RX is going for a character change. It's always the same song and dance, man. I do not understand why RX does not simply go straight for Testament, man. His, uh... His game has been... Oh, here we go. Somebody called me in the chat, sorry. Please... <laughs> Your match is off stream, so please start it as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, and here we go. <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to take care of some problems. Uh, indie brackets. Yeah, testament. Of course, of course. <laughs> I cried because I saw damage damage on chip. Wall break super. That damage reduction. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Okay, here we go with RX. Actually, looking pretty good. He has the elf lead, 
and here we go with the uh, teleport into the grab. Very nicely done by uh, RX. Manages to finally take one round. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> I do know that Zeej is not very, very... Uh, not familiar, but he doesn't really like the Testament matchup. I can, yeah, I can more or less tell. And here we go, he finally finds the option. That was a pretty nice teleport grab. Not gonna lie at all. And here we go with the back jump into... Oh, and again with the teleport into the grab. Very nicely done by Aragis. Goes for a save jump. Not that he needs it, because at that particular time, Zeech did not have any intention to uh, have a uh, meterless... Uh, well, um, a reversal. And here we go again with the counter hit confirmed into the Arbiter. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Zeech forced to stay man it's really really hard to get in uh testament once she has their when once they have their oh my god <laughs> do not do not count nagoriyuki out here we go with the very nice spacing from uh from rx and again again and again with the teleport man very nicely done by rx finally puts one on the board we have a game ladies and gentlemen let's see how this pans out <laughs> Here we go. Sorry for the the wait, guys. I'm just uh, having some issues with uh, some players who haven't started their match yet. So that fast RC, yeah, was pretty crazy, man. Not gonna lie, it was pretty good. Okay, and here we go. Finally, again with RX taking the first match of the third game. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice 2K 2D. <coughs> Unfortunately, it was blocked by Zij. We go with Zij using the clone to try to close the distance between him and his opponent. Again, tried to go for the bite this time around. RX was ready. Backdash into. A uh, adequate punish, and here we go, oh, Lord and Deep wake up, Hail Mary by RX, hopefully for him he had two attention bars so he could make it safe even if it didn't hit, okay, finally Zeech forced, to oh, my lord that was a big, 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 big conversion right there from uh, Zeech, okay he has RX where he wanted, finally manages to take one round as well, Hanabi all over the stage, exactly the shenanigans man, okay and here we go, <laughs> again with the back, S counter hit into into pain actually we go with the arbiter lord and zij oh manages to sniff out a tech attempt right there by our eggs very nice mobility from zij man oh why did you move why did you move i don't know but you died bye bye that was very nicely done by zij gonna take this uh this uh <clears throat> this set actually this mount this match okay in the lead with 2 to 1. Let's see how this pans out for RX. He's definitely not, uh, not out of it yet, but yeah, he definitely needs to get something going, or it's going to be very hard for him to do anything at all. Here we go with the Arbiter. Uh, what's called the Arbiter. Uh, <coughs> the Arbiter, uh, what's called? Zoning attempt. Just one second, guys. Okay, here we go with Zeej going completely ham, trying to, yeah, trying to reach RX, man, and to lower the gap between both of their health. But here we go with the juggle by RX, man, manages to take this first round. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with, again, the Skull, man. Ah, uh, and here we go, you can see Zeej getting a little bit impatient, getting a little bit angry, getting, like, zoned left and right. <coughs> Okay, here we go again with the teleport. He's been working so good in favor of RX, man. Here we go with the... Oh, Lord. That was really well juggled, not gonna lie. Here we go with Z trying to find the opening with the Beyblade. Okay, finally manages to bring... To hit one... To hit one. <laughs> to get one hit in. Oh, again with the 5 uh, HS. Oh, and again a counter hit. Okay, he goes for the extension. Couldn't quite get the kill right there. Oh! <coughs> Okay, no 6P right there from Zeej, unfortunately. Oh my lord, and the low profile of the Sin Standing S. Yes, this was, that was really, really unfortunate. Oh my lord, and the Arbiter, Arbiter Storm, you have to take it. Lord, one hit and you're dead. Yeah, and here we go with the Karasu, the, the, the Karasimento for the win. 
Very nicely done by RX. He puts one, another one on the board. It is two against two. Very, very close by. Let's see how this pans out. Just one second. <laughs> and here we go with Zeej actually manages to take in it. Take the first round of this potentially final um, final set. <laughs> And here we go with the wall break. Actually, he's each taking the lead. A hefty and healthy help. Uh, oh, my lord. And that wasn't without counting on the jump in from RX. Managed to get some pretty to force the burst once uh, uh, for add for a start. Nago is bloodthirsty and testament is putting him on a noble die. Exactly. Uh, definitely preventing him from getting too close, obviously. Oh, and the big 5S. The 5K. The 5S. I'm sorry. H. Counter. This did a ton of damage. A little bit too far to get the quick dust into the RC, this is unfortunate for him. Oh lord, and here we go. The very, very tricky teleport man. Oh, and here we go, he finds the opening with the oh my lord! Oh my lord, it only took like five seconds for Z. So I feel like it would go in favor of Zato personally. So let's see, let's see, we'll see. Okay, and finally, please work. Please game. Yes, we're in guys, perfect, perfect. This is a match I really wanted to see, so I'm really happy. Here we go, the start of the round. So, Misinput God, also known as Rinka, one of the strongest Zato, Indonesian Zato player in the world. Well, it, hmm? the, the, in Indonesia, I'm sorry. Let's see how he pans out. He uh, fares against Takarin, who is arguably the strongest Axel player uh, in Japan. Okay, very nice opening from Misinput God. He manages to get the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus, uh, taking into account that he does yeah here you go he has the detention bar full and eddie is also ready but unfortunately for him he gets opened by tigaran son who immediately he, uh activates not activates but um puts the uh the world on standby he uses it unfortunately uh missing put god was aware he didn't press any button and therefore wasn't open very nice to s right there from missing put god <laughs> from uh from takarin he immediately kills eddie he said no no eddie here we don't like this dude He's not invited to the party, and here we go with the 6 HS, I believe this is. Oh my lord, did you see this? Lenka using the um, the invincibility frame of the Oppose to uh, tank the jumping uh, S from uh, from Takani and immediately punishes him on his way down. That was really, really well done. Yeah, this is Takani, yeah. Yeah, I'm one of the strongest Axel player in Japan, in the world, arguably. Maybe not in the world. I feel like they're, they're still a little bit, uh, like, missing from, uh, like, compared to other great 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 uh, axel players but he's still very strong i'm not gonna lie like he's really tournament he's beaten like international like very strong players like daruino and stuff so he's definitely not to be trifled with again d2s to kill eddie man eddie we do not want him on the screen we hate him he's ugly you're ugly eddie oh very nice um invite hell <laughs> and here we go with the conversion oh i i feel like he could have killed right there yeah, but going for the uh, security, for the secured uh, stuff. I thought he switched to Ram. I always see him grinding Ram. And oh, really? Maybe he's using her for uh, as a sub-character just for bad matchups, I suppose. But you're talking about Takarin, right? And that being said, here we go with the command grab by Takarin. manages to uh, hit Renka out of whatever he was trying to do. Out of his oppose, actually. Here we go with Takarin. Seeing very, very mobile. Try to mix his options up not to be... Okay, here we go again with the S. Okay, this time around... Takarin again, man, getting out of harm's way. He manages to make his way out of it, man. It's so crazy. Here we go with the 2S counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage, by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was pretty smart to use Oppose uh, defense from jumping S and 5P, even if Oppose is behind Zato. But it won't work on Axel 2H because it bugs. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and here we go with the wake up. Ah! Uh, no! Oh, no! Where's the punish? Where's the punish? Missing put. <laughs> That was inadequate naming. Oh, here we go. Finally burst. Man, Takarin wanted to get out of there. Oh, Lord. And using the 
uh, momentum of his jumping S to uh, close the distance between him and Takarin again using it by the way and he gets the kill with the OTG invite hell first match goes to miss input god man very nicely done that was clutch actually I'm not gonna lie nice stuff let's see if Takarin can it's definitely a close match I'm not gonna lie there's nothing really adaptation wise only small tweaks would be necessary for Takarin to try to take one as well so let's see how this pans out that being said, here we go with the counter hit by uh, Miss Input God. Manages to ooh, get Takarin in the corner. He does that every time against me too. Yeah, and it works, man. It works really good. Here we go again with the counter hit. Ah, I couldn't quite get the juggle. This is unfortunate for him. Here we go with the back HS by Takarin trying to open his opponent up. Here we go with the rainwater. No one is at home though. Okay, I think that was a Miss Input, actually. He tried to probably do the, uh, the, the, the RC uh, combo to try to close the distance. Here we go with the pikes. Oh, almost got Takarin san. Oh, and Takarin manages to bait the burst. This is gonna do a lot of damage actually because. Oh lord, because Otto does not have any guts. Hmm. Here we go, yeah, the tides are set. Let's see how this pans out. Is Miss Input God gonna be able to make a comeback? That would be pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go, and the snipe from. Takarin gets the kill, man. Okay, and the murky waters of online, the war is away. Exactly, I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Ah, uh, Miss Input God gets opened by Takarin, unfortunately, with the follow-up of the Len Sengeki. Here we go. Oh, the overhead. Again with the uh, jump back S. Oh, my lord, even gets hit by the jumping S counter. That's the, not only killed uh, Eddie, also uh, scored a uh, counter hit uh, for Takarin. Random hypertext lol. Oh, really? I didn't check, sorry. Okay, oh, okay, okay, good. <laughs> Here we go, very nice opening. Oh, but not follow up by Mission Put God. Oh, and here he goes again with this RC uh, combo to try to open his open up. <laughs> he manages to bait the RC, not the RC, the burst, and eventually gets the opening, and this is gonna kill with the, the Among Us. Among Us. Among Us for the kill. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Takarin still, uh, yeah, still, he's down a burst though. I think Miss Input God might get his burst before. That was pretty clean, not gonna lie. Here we go with the Lens Sengeki into the explosion. Again, Eddie getting uh, chopped by D2S of Takarin, definitely on point. Here we go with Takarin just going straight down uh, uh, below uh, Miss Input God and just waiting for it to come down to grab him. That was crazy. And here we go with the pikes of Eddie gets killed by again the 2S by Takarin. Yeah, Miss Input got definitely struggling to close the distance between him and Takarin. Takarin doing a good job of keeping him out. And again with the jump back S, man. And the rainwater, you cannot press a button, you are minus. And look at that risk bar, man. Miss Input got, if you get hit once, it's gonna be juggle land for your beautiful butt. But finally, Miss Input got finally finds an opening. Okay, he's trying to buy some time to get his risk gauge to uh, settle down and also um, deal some damage to Takarin and Takarin not afraid of pressing present buttons in the block string man this is crazy okay here we go again with the jumping back as it has been the bane of Miss Input God man very nice 6 HS right there see how this spins out no 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 one's home okay here we go yeah Takarin being extremely extremely patient and this patient actually paid off yeah it actually did and we are one round apiece. Lenka Miss Input God against Takarin. Very, very nice match. Really, really nice. I'm really looking forward to how this will unfold later on. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. The counter hit of Takarin finds the opening and the Len Sengeki, man. Okay, here we go. Back to the neutral. Okay, both opponents are really, really just trying to find the opening as safely as possible. Okay, here we go with the Finally, the oppose finds the opening again with the oppose. Ah, this is not punished. This is unfortunate for Lenka. He had the opening there a little bit too far, I suppose. It's probably, yeah, distance wise, it was probably impossible for Zato to do anything about it. That being said, here we go with Takarin in the house now. He tried probably to go for a shimmy, unfortunately for him. He mistimed his shimmy and uh, was uh, able to get, uh, was, uh, well, basically cornered itself. This is unfortunate. Very nice. Very, very nice uh, juggle right there from uh, from Takarin. Okay, back to the neutral. This is probably the space where Axel is most at ease. And this shows because 
Takumi was able to take this uh, this uh, this round as well. <coughs> that was pretty nice. It's not the best use of tension, but break the law. RC will be a good way to mix movement options, I guess. Yeah, definitely, I agree. And here we go with D2K2D, really trying to keep the pressure on Takaninen. And he's still not there, finally back with the frog. Okay, tries to open Takaninen as quickly as possible. No juggle right there, this is unfortunate. No rain water at all. And he gets the knockdown. Okay, here we go with... Finally... Oh, that was a quick Among Us. <coughs> Okay, no 6p right there. This is unfortunate, but it's okay. This actually plays in his favor because it made the follow-up of his uh, of Takarin 2 H, H whiff and he was able to punish him and get even a bigger punish with what he did if he had a 6p. That being said, here we go. Defense is pretty much on point, man, yeah. I think if you play, actually, you have to have good defense. You don't have a choice. Like, you literally don't have a choice. You don't have, like, you only have one reversal, which requires meter, and it's pretty very easy to sniff out. That being said, here we go back. To the future. <laughs> no, that this, this doesn't make any sense again to 2HS. The 2 2 HS man, Takarin not giving up on this uh, move. Finally, uh, fishes, misinput got out of the air. Here we go back to the neutral, and Takarin man running the other side of the freaking uh, screen, man. Is that, the, is that the, like, where are you going? He's like, where are you going, man? What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> I think Zato requires good defense. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Even more so than Axel, I feel, because he doesn't even have a reversal. But Zato is just... Zato, like... His offense is, like, second to none. Like, seriously. Once he has you in the corner with Eddie, it's pretty much bye-bye, man. Especially if he opens you up once, tension bar overdrive, and boom, it's back with Eddie once he brings the wall. You know, it's, it's crazy. His, deep, his offense is, like, out of this room. Out of... Through the roof, man. That being said, here we go back to the neutral and Miss Input got really trying to find the opening but Takonin not afraid to press buttons at really uh, fitting moments. Oh no! Oh, that was a bad burst. Okay, let's see. That was an unfortunate... Yeah, his offense is... Yeah, exactly. You don't need defense if your opponent cannot uh, is not allowed to press a button. <laughs> that being said, Takonin is in the lead with two against one. Let's see how this pans out. Takarin is challenging every Zato gaps, even though it's trading really nice. Yeah, of course, yeah. And that's the uh, internal server error. <laughs> this is strange. Cannot add internal server error? Okay, this is strange. Let me check if uh, I can do something about it. Uh, Gilgamesh, just one second. HT. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to add it. Give me one, one sec. Um, I think it's SR in this. Call. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't want to add it. Uh, I don't think he wants to add it. I don't think I can add it. Can I do it? Nope. An internal server error occurred. I have no idea what that means. I love that song. I wish we could... Uh, maybe there's another one you can use? Smoib! My brother from another mother! <laughs> I think, man. Thank you very much for the raid. As always, you and your community is always welcome to the Brojo Cup and to any one of my streams, really. Thank you very much again for the raid. I extended Lee for the red button before saying goodbye. <laughs> oh, that sucks. But don't worry, guys. So, Smoib, as you can see, he forgot to say goodbye, but it's okay. You know that he loves you. You know that everybody here also loves you. Welcome to my stream. You know already what the Brojo Cup is, since Smoib is always so nice that he raids me all almost systematically uh, on Mondays when we start the uh, tournament. So, thank you very much, Smoib, again. I really hope you had a wonderful stream, brah. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you, you're still grinding a bit of the Bridget before going back to, uh, to Gold Lewis. That being said, welcome guys. This is the Rojo Cup, the weekly uh, online tournament which takes place in Japan. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm your host, Esteem Kain. Welcome to my community. It's great to have you here and I uh, hope you have a very, very nice uh, a very nice day. That being said, here we go back to the... Tur to the <gasps> wow, the matchup hand of big gold burst by TKR and Sunman. Ex excitement dialed. 100 exactly this is exactly what we're talking about and that being said thank you very much smoy man you have a good night man and uh have a chill night and that being said here we go again with the snail by takarin but the samurai is adequately punished by miss input god and back to the neutral takarin definitely does not want to uh, miss input god to get out of the corner very nice reaction throw right there from takarin is gonna get the wall break a big one, by the way. <laughs> and here we go with the Among Us. Immediate at the start of the round. Probably tried to sniff something out of Takarin. And if Takarin... Oh! The bad burst! Almost got the kill. This is unfortunate for him. Yeah. No worries, guy. No problem, man. 
Oh, and here we go. The two HS this around is blocked by Misinput God. Yeah, he, he really fails to find the opening, man. Trying to, he struggles as much as possible to try to get it. Here we go with Tagan. He's trying to. Oh my lord, in the punish. Oh, the six HS. Oh, if he got the juggle, that would have been crazy. Here we go, not giving up. Oh, 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 no, and again, challenge, man. Oh, oh it's too bad, it's just to bring it back. This is so high. Renka, missing put God, not giving up, and that made it possible for him to make the comeback, man. That was pretty clutch, not gonna freaking lie. Good stuff from missing put God, and here we go at the final match of this set. Damn, it already feels like we're in freaking grand finals, and here we go with the, the freaking aerial grab by Takarin, very nicely done. Again with the jump back S, <laughs> trying to zone Missing Put God out, and very nice approach from Missing Put God, trying to make his way ever so slightly. Okay, oh no punish here, but it's okay. He got the second hit of the pike. <laughs> okay, here we go with the 2K 2D. You are staying on the ground. You are not going anywhere. Better than Evil Final, exactly. Any any match is better than a than a Happy Chaos match, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. If you like Happy Girls, you're free to do so, no problem. Here we go with the, the world! This is probably gonna do it, unless uh, Miss Input God, yeah, pops the burst, but obviously he will not. He prefers to keep it for the next round that is coming right now, actually. Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> and again, man, here we go, man. Takarin really trying to... Yeah, this, fine, this time around finally gets uh, punished for trying to kill Eddie, actually, this time around. Very nice switch from Miss Input God. Perhaps, will he be able to keep it up? We shall see. Thank you very much for the follow me to return and welcome to the Brojo. That was pretty clean, not gonna lie. And here we go with the pressure, man, and the defense still, man, from Takarin. Definitely not gonna lie. This dude's defense is top freaking notch. Here we go, finally uses the rainwater to, well, to, uh, to put some distance between him and his opponent. Oh, and again with the quick Roman cancel right there to try to use the momentum and close the distance. But Takarin this time around was aware, man. <laughs> I have Celestial, Happy Chaos, buddy. It's always scary fighting him. Yeah, man, it is. <laughs> okay, and here we go back to the neutral and Takarin finding the opening with the command grab. <laughs> is this gonna do? Is this gonna do? Oh no, and the bad burst from Renka! And just like this, not Super Saiyan, sometimes it just pops up on the screen. I do not know why. But usually it pops out uh, during raids or during follows or subscribes or donations or cheers. But uh, yeah, sometimes for no reason it just pops up. So I'm just going to take it. I don't really care. Anyways, here we go with the start of the match. RFD, uh, arguably the best house player in Japan against Zeej. Uh, not arguably the best SEA uh, Nagoli P player. And unfortunately he gets hit by the bomb, but it's okay. It's still in his favor. Oh, okay, he couldn't quite get the killing blow right there. 40, yeah, man, 14k level, holy man, this guy, if, if he's the he's the definition of grind, like RF is like something else. But here he go, here we go with Zeej finding the opening with the jump H as very nicely done. He's the first round, and here we go with the. I do believe that's the 6k, if I'm correct. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the 6k. Finds the opening with it. And here we go with back to the neutral using Fukio to try to close the distance. He finds the opening with the standing K. My lord, RF and D take command throw. Very nicely done. He's gonna get the uh, crossover. He cross up. Let's see how this pins out. <laughs> oh lord, and here we go back to the freaking. Okay, so it, okay, at least it's working. The OS that I'm, I'm happy that people are putting new songs now. I really love it when people use the uh, the their, their points to put some music. It's really cool. That being said, here we go. Yeah, Zeej in dire straits right there. Oh no! Oh lord! He snipes him. He manages to get the. Oh lord! He managed to get the uh, the trumpet. Unfortunately for him, he gets six speed counter it. That was a big one, by the way. Oh, okay, he gets again the trumpet, man. And what, well, my lord, this was unfortunate for Zeed. And he's probably gonna get hit or not. Oh, look, stop right now. Oh, Zeej get hit by the trumpet, man. This is so unfortunate for him. But still, okay, it's not over till it's over. Oh, lord. Okay, here we go back to the neutral and RF doing a very good job. Nope, you could not punish this, is unfortunate. Again, with little fouls, you hate them. You hate him, you can definitely see you hit him. And here we go with RF, manages to get the trumpet. 
Okay. Ooh, gets a big 5 HS counter hit. Did he activate little... No, he didn't get a little Faustus Signature for him. Uh, and again, gets hit by the overhead into the... Um, the I'll call it the fishing rod, I guess. And here we go with the wall break in favor. Did Gilgamesh request worked on the... Nah, it didn't. Actually, it didn't. So maybe you either need to find another... Uh, another version of the song by somebody who uploaded differently, or th this is th there's really no other way. If there's an internal error, it means that like the link is not recognized as like a, a song or something, I guess. So if you can find it a different like a different link, please uh, do so and uh, and give it to me, and I'll try to put it like for free. Don't worry. When I say for free, it doesn't cost money. By the way, it's just like uh, channel points. <laughs> Anyways, if we go here, we go. <clears throat> Lord. Yeah, and here we go back with RF. My lord! What do you want to do? What do you want to do, man? Look at all of this. <coughs> and again with Little Faust, man. Little Faust, man. What if I try Sim Link? Maybe it's... Yeah, maybe you can try, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. But you can try and uh, try to... I, I'd suggest finding a different uploader who uploaded exactly the same song and uh, just try it again. But wait, it's actually... Yeah, yeah. Well, I tried to request it. Uh, I tried to request it, but um, it didn't work. There was an internal error server, so... I'm pretty sure if it doesn't work with me, it probably won't work with anybody else. That being said, here we go with RF trying to keep the pressure. Oh, again with the... <laughs> Lord. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Oh, and the big 5 HS counter hit. Okay, it's time to... <laughs> oh, right in the quick dust for the kill. Very nicely done by RF manages to take the first round of this match as well. Oh, here we go with the start of the round with the two cow. My lord, he gets hit by the banana. This is so unfortunate. Yeah, this is this actually looks like a very painful, a very painful matchup for uh, Nagoyuki. Who would have who would have thought? Very nice Beyblade. Try this. Okay. Well, let me check. It. <laughs> let me check it out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, uh, SR. If it works. Okay, was that the one you wanted? I hope it's the one you wanted. If it's not, then I can't really do anything about it. I hope that was the one. Trigon HD. Okay, here we go with again the... Oh lord. Yeah, you can't get over it. This is unfortunate. Uh... <laughs> And RF, man, the mobility of this man. <gasps> He's gonna get the wall break. This is... Can we actually see the wall break without the, the mask? <laughs> we actually do. He's actually pretty nice. Okay, here we go. Back to the neutral. Oh, and no overhead this time around. Oh, Lord, what do you, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's really this. Re this seems really freaking painful. Okay, that's good to know, Snoozy. Oh, oh Lord! And look at Z. She's really, really having a hard time trying to close the distance, man. Ah, it gets hit by the dust <laughs> and comboed in the meteors, man. That was crazy, man. Here we go with RF up two, man. Two to zero, and Z really struggling, man, to try to bring it. <laughs> oh, no punish. Well, actually, a trade in favor. Of RF. Oh, and the big 2D counter. This did a lot of damage, actually. Ooh, but it <laughs> the Beyblade counter also did a hefty amount of damage. I recently found out Potemkin can flick foul speed. Oh, really? This is cool. That uh, this I didn't know. Oh, Lord and the freaking juggle. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Here we go RF using against the super. Uh, what is a Naniga de no Kana? Ah, unfortunately, gets hit by the. Cavalry, this is unfortunate for him. Oh, and again, man, RF doing a good job of really just playing his own game and forcing it upon Zeej, man. This is the time that you see that, yeah, uh, Nagoriyuki's mobility is, yeah, it's really, it's really lacking. Even with just the Fukio, it's just really hard to close the distance. Zeej fighting two zoners in a row, yeah. Ah, oh, man, here we go with the Meteors, man. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Oh my, look at the bombs, man. Look at the bombs. Oh, go, go, Z. No, you have to go earlier than that. Yeah, this is death, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. And just, you know, RF just literally chipping his opponent to death, man. It's crazy. Here we go with the jump. 
And even if you win, Tiri's stuck on in. Yeah, <laughs> here we go, another zoner. Zoner city, man. Oh, here we go with the fishing rod. Nope, no one's at home. Oh, what you want to do, man? I admire the patience of, of Zij, I'm not gonna lie, man. Lord! Ah, careful, the banana. <laughs> oh, Lord. And you, you, you're just seeing like Zij getting completely zoned out, man. It's just crazy, man. What are you supposed to do? I, I didn't imagine that this matchup would be... It's either like RF is super freaking good, which is probably the case, or the matchup is probably not in favor of, uh, of, of Nagoriyuki. I cannot say for real, for sure. Oh, here we go with RF just really noticing that the bomb was about to blow up. It was like, what's up with this Dalsim gameplay? Too much of 5e screen. Yeah, man. But it's working, it's working. And even if you, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Lord, and the big bomb, man. Okay, activating a little Faust. Oh, here we go, almost dead. Oh, and gets hit by the fishing rod and just like this, man. Or F takes it three. You're really watching Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, well, man, I know. Looks like he can make good use of like any item on any rate. Exactly. Or F the goat for real, for real. Yeah, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Finally. Finally, we did it. We are in. It is going to be Caffeine versus Takarin. And this, I do not know how this matchup goes, to be really quite honest. Then again, both players are not your usual run-in-the-mill uh, Axel and <coughs> uh, Jackal player. So we'll see how this really pans out. Very nice use of the minions to try to hit Takarin out of the air. Okay, Takarin going in the air to try to challenge the aerial approaches from Caffeine. Let's see if Caffeine actually changed their... Oh, approach. Very nice use of the, uh, the minions. And here we go. Back. Oh, unfortunately for him, he didn't have any minions left. This is unfortunate for him. This is actually the time to try to get some, um, <laughs> to get some, um, some op uh, offense in. Here we go with Takanin trying to close the distance. Kills two minions in one go. <laughs> Very nice sniping uh, job from him. Oh, Lord. Oh, here we go, man. Takanin really trying to get out of harm's way to re get out of the minions way. And uh, obviously for really good measures and good reasons. It's like 6-4 axe. Okay, okay. I can I can I can see that. I can see that. That's cool. And here we go again with Caffeine trying to snipe Takarin out, but Takarin being extremely mobile, obviously, and just runs up and grabs Jaguar. Are you serious, man? Lord. Takarin not afraid, man. Just believing. Just believing, man. And here we go with the jumping back S. This will be an interesting matchup. It is, man. It actually is. And here we go with the aerial approach by the Caffeine. They actually unfortunately mistimed there. Grab and uh, whips actually on Takarin. Takarin didn't uh, quite get the um, the reflex to try to punish his grab attempt. That being said, here we go with Takarin on the end slot. Oh lord! And the 2s4, the save catches. Uh, Kaffeine trying to make it run away with the minion. Okay, actually 6hs goes underneath the standing P, it seems. Oh lord, and the RC battle right there. Takarin on the verge of taking it and finally takes it with the jump pack. S. Very nicely done by Takani takes the first match of this encounter. Yo, Axel, ça va bien. Mon dieu, 31 mois, c'est un truc de Tu vas bien, gros. You have new slim. Axel has to get close and personal sometimes, as he should. He doesn't really have. Yeah, if he keeps like zoning her out, she's definitely gonna have a an opportunity to get her minions out and to closely like just send him in the corner, just like it is right now. Here we go. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Okay, my lord finds the opening right there. Vous en êtes pour le casse. Oh, grave, c'est très cool. Ah, mon, ramène-toi, ramène-toi. J'en profiterai pour aller me prendre un petit peu d'eau. Ah, attends, je te. Je te. Je te. Je te, je te fais tout ça. Ah, comment qu'on fait encore C'est longtemps que je vais pas casse avec quelqu'un d'autre. <rire> Donc, ça Here we go with the pressure, man. Alors, start the virtual camera, and then I just need to go there. And to. Uh, how do you do A ah, vidéo Ah non, c'est l'écran, c'est l'écran. Ah non, c'est les vidéos. Yo, ça va bien, Exxon, tu m'entends Ouais, bonjour, hello, hello. Yay, yeah, parfait. Je crois qu'on devrait t'entendre là, normalement. Yay, yeah, everything's going well. I hope you're doing good as well, my brother. Let me see if we can hear you though. But I think we should be able to. Oh, you're in vacation, nice. Lucky you, man. Really, really lucky you. Oh, actually, I can't hear you. I see that Takarin is winning by 1-0 on this set against Caffeine, but yeah. I see also that Caffeine has already won the first round of this uh, of this second match and he's in really good shape, like, yeah. for uh, 
for this, this second round. I definitely like Kakarin didn't want to proceed with the rest of his uh, 3D combo. Might be actually the end of the round open because he got yeah. the first there. And that's it, the Rensen Geki. Yeah. Oh, it didn't, it didn't hit actually, but it managed to secure the minion. Alright, there we go, one touch. It's only one touch on each side, and the 5P will do the job. <laughs> it looks and so easy when you see Takarin playing. It does, man. Takarin is actually very, very good. He's knowledgeable yeah. in so many different matchups. It's, it, it's actually like scary, to be really, really quite honest. And that being said, here we go with the. Uh, wait, one second. I think I can't hear anybody on the Trying to hear you, but I can't hear you. I don't know which one. Which one I can hear you. Which coach for a. for a coin? Charlie Kumi Kappa. Je sais pas on m'entend bien sur le stream, je sais pas. Ouais. Vas-y, continue à parler, je vais regarder justement si on est sur le stream. Il y a mes écouteurs okay. qui sont en train de faire du caca, là, c'est un petit peu... Ok, parfait. Ouh, that, that was a 5H, right? The 5H of uh, Takarin just hits right through the 5HS of <laughs> Jack O. Uh, apparently we see which one is winning. <laughs> yeah, Takarin is currently winning, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have to see... Uh, I mean, to... To the 6B for... Uh, with this, this 5 just like doing your 5 inches against it was more than enough. Oh, he tried to do a 2S, like fake entire or something, I don't know, but... Uh, but he gets, gets him in pretty bad shape. Oh, and there's the burst! It hits! Like, but Caffeine, I, I guess Caffeine didn't see... Um, I didn't do anything, just because it was the new guy right, right there. And there we go, there's a setup right and left, go to the throw. And that's it, we got the second. Oh, and this time he was seen, like he avoided the throw, and there we go. The Tiger knee <laughs> jump H, does it? He will kill, yeah, he will kill because of the wall flat. It's already match point. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the way, I'm just trying to do some uh, audio troubleshooting, just to be sure that uh, we can hear the sensei. Right. And Sensei, you can speak. I think we should be able to hear you now. Well, I should be able to hear you now if you speak. Hello, hello, bonjour. Hello? No? Can you hear me? No, you can't hear me, Sensei. Okay, this is strange. I can't hear you that much. I can hear you, I can hear you, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Very good, very good. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, the minion dis didn't disappear because he was uh, into the super timing, so he yeah. <laughs> Sensei is a bit low, I'm going to increase his speed. I'm going to increase his speed. Alright. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, and here we go with, finally, uh, Caffeine finding the opening and escorts Takarin into the... You can raise a little bit of the sound. Uh, no, that's what I'm going to do, because otherwise it's going to mess up a little bit. And here we go with the Lensen Geki and the uh, explosion. Here we go with Caffeine uh, trying to find his way and trying to reverse the momentum actually, but Takarin doing a good job of keeping him out. We voit son bass par rapport à la zik. Je trouve. Deux secondes. Je trouve pas. Je trouve pas personnellement. Je suis en train de m'écouter moi-même et j'ai pas l'impression qu'il y a un Yeah, guys, do you think the, the, the music is too loud? Can anybody confirm that the music is too loud? I personally don't think so. And here we go with the win by Takarin. He takes it. How are you doing, you Batofu? Welcome to the Brojo. And on to the next battle. So, Missing Put God from Indonesia versus uh, Nas from Philippines. Let's see how this goes. Music is okay, but it definitely makes hard hearing you and your friend. Okay, okay. Um, uh, what do we do? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna lower a little bit the sound then, just a tiny bit. <laughs> I don't want to lower it too much. There we go. We had minus one, I guess. That should be okay, I guess. Hopefully. He misinputted his name, he wanted to spell Rinka. <laughs> That's probably one of the reasons. Okay, here we go with the start of the round, and uh, already Renka, this is the second time he's facing a very good Axel player. Because yes, Nas is actually the strongest uh, Axel in Philippines currently. Took a lot of SEA tournaments organized by uh, none other than Zeej, by the way. And he's uh, been doing a very good job at doing so. <clears throat> Alright, and there, uh, I see that uh, Mission to God plays actually Zaro. Actually, I don't, I don't know if we, we got like really good Zato in uh, in Asia except Gobo, I think. Like, but apparently Missing Foot God is one of them. Uh, it's it's true that I don't see we don't see many Zatos in there. Oh, hello, Monton.
Ah ok il est parti bon. <coughs> Alright so uh, we got the I wanted to join last minute, but I had to eat pizza. No problem, man. It, it'll be next time. <laughs> you, you can always participate next, next week. No problem. It's been a while. I didn't, I didn't cast in the game. It's okay. It's pretty hard. It's, it's okay. Hard, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. No worries, man. I also saw, oh, I also something <laughs> happen at my house that I might have to do. Okay, gotta go. I have things to take care of. Good luck, no problem, Sudi. Thank you very much for passing by. Nas and Tikaran style is very different. Definitely it is. But it's definitely Nas working. And already took the match. Yeah, Nas doing a very good job of uh, just really keeping this input got out, and he's actually he looks very used to this uh, to this uh, matchup as well. Definitely uh, doing a good job of uh, oppressing Miss Input God and preventing him from getting too close, as every good actual player should do. Definitely not contesting Eddie as much as uh, as TKRN, but. Uh, Picking a very good job of um, having better offense sequences than T T Takarin, I feel. Okay, that being said, here we go. Back to zoning game. Back to Miss Input God trying to make his way to Nast. Finds a couple of hits, but nothing too big. Okay, no burst there from Miss Input God. And the Ooh. rainwater for the kill. First round, Nast. <clears throat> Nast is doing like, really well like, in the Zato matchup. I actually think Zato matchup is. Something like 5-5 five, five or 6-4 for Axel, because the only thing that can really prevent Axel from like going in is yeah exactly that's Oppo like as as Miss Input God just did like manage so that they can manage like to close the distance. But of course the rainwater and some other stuff are really really annoying as you can see there. Right. You got like really, I think Nas <laughs> really likes to use the rainwater in, in the match of Final Fantasy. It seems like it's really efficient to use like against um, against Eddie. Oh, and there's the, <coughs> there's the snail that has been blocked so that uh, Miss Input God can get the pressure over there. And, and Nas managed to get out of the corner, but not for long, apparently. Okay, got the right and left mix. There we go. Okay. Oh, what? What was that? I think there was there has been some some misinputs or something because he didn't manage to get the combo out of the, the throw. RC. So is that it? Is Screw that to his name. Is, is that because of the name? Exactly. <laughs> oh, it may, may actually be the end of the round. Oh, the the control that has been dodged like right on time right <laughs> and there we go and th that's the rensengeki yeah if he can't block the rensengeki if it's uh, if it's not in opos and that's it the the upper part of the rensengeki will close the second match and just like this nas is up two points against zero let's see if miss input god definitely probably had his fill of axel player today first takarin now nas he's definitely like probably had it of it and his motivation may be a little bit more sparse than it was at the very beginning when he first fought Takarin. It's definitely like <laughs> taxing playing against this character but that being said he has not given up completely really trying to make his way ever so slightly towards Nas. Here we go another rainwater for Nas trying to put some distance between him and uh, Miss Input God. You can see him oh my lord and look at this with the fully charged risk bar. Did this, this did actually a lot of damage all things considered. Three hits 40% of uh, the life of Miss Input God gone in the wind. And again, back to the uh, to the zoning game, and you can see Miss Input got definitely struggling to make his way towards towards Nas, man. And finally, he gets come, something going. Is he gonna be able to keep? Yes, finally forces Nas to pop the burst. Very good 2S counter hit, and ooh, no grab here, sir. Nobody here, but very nice uh, 2S follow, uh, two HS follow up from Nas to try to uh, hit and successfully hit Miss Input got out of the air. Oh my lord, here go again with the 2S killing Eddie on the fly no 6s uh, no 6 p right there and here we go again with nas trying to really zone the nas out uh, zone miss input got out eddie back on the table okay oh and again with Ve oh my lord and the burst bait this is gonna be death man that was crazy man and here yeah, we go i actually had a had a bit of luck there because we yeah. see we saw that like he inputted uh close slash <laughs> yeah input close slash and then Immediately did for a, a, a jump HS, like I bet yeah. this was supposed to be a, a, a Axa Bomber. Oh my but lord. Yeah, managed to get. Oh, and, and that's it. Okay. I already got uh, mid bar, like mid health actually for, uh, for Zato. Yeah, it's true that Zato doesn't have many gods, doesn't have any, any, any like, much life basically. 
Oh yeah, and he's already at mass risk, so he must not take a single hit, otherwise it will be really, really painful. Might actually be the end of the round if he gets hit. And that's it! Okay, no, that, was just, that, that was just for the Rensen, and the dust has been actually completely blocked. Okay, nice one, managed to get the pressure. Nice, thanks to Eddie, get, get escorted right into the corner, and that's it. Oh! My actually, nice conversion. Ooh, nice conversion. Uh, we love to see this combo. It's, unfortunately, he he dropped like missing boot something. <laughs> Probably <laughs> exactly. There's, Staying through to his name. Yeah. That was a really nice block from uh, yeah, from Nas. There, right. like he managed to block pretty much everything. Okay. Okay. Oh. Really patient. And that's it. Eddie's gone. So now Ooh, now he can go. Be, and yeah. that's it. And it's, it's be the over. end because we got the Zawardo and the bomber. Very nicely done by Nas. Takes it a Kathleen versus RX. Let's see how this spins out. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> hmm. Very go on to the first battle. <coughs> Okay, and the bad burst by RX is unfortunate. He's gonna get immediately punished by Caffeine and escorted in the corner. Here we go with Axe, uh, not Axe, so RX having to deal with the very, very, very oppressive pressure of Caffeine. Still holding, still holding strong, waiting for the opening. Unfortunately, for oh my lord, look at Caffeine just running, running away, trying to make her way out of harm's way. <laughs> and here we go with Caffeine just successfully actually zoning RX out and taking the first round very convincingly and on to the second match how is this going to pan out we shall see very nice entire right there <laughs> and the 6p on the block by caffeine finally finds the opening <laughs> tried to bait the burst but caffeine holding strong to it but oh my lord look at the damage man and again the triple the triple overhead by by RX manages to find and uh, get the win. <clears throat> okay, here we go with RX. <laughs> Making their way ever so slightly. Oh lord, oh very nice combo right there from RX. Okay, oh my lord, and the big 6p counter hit in favor of <laughs> RX. I wonder what the dynamics of this uh, matchup is. Is it in favor of Testament or or uh, or Jackal? I have no idea. That being said, here we go. Caffeine on the onslaught gets the very, very nice conversion. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, and here we go with Caffeine. Unfortunately, well, fortune for him was able to uh, sniff the gold burst out. And my lord, Caffeine tried to make his way all the while killing the minions. Tried to make his way towards caffeine but caffeine having none of it actually it's not this it's here there you go one match one uh first match goes to caffeine let's see if rx can find some sort of adaptation very nice juggle right there from rx <laughs> and the 6p to kill both minions and stop caffeine in the air all at the same time okay here we go with the stained and the wall break this is going to do a lot of damage Again with the aerial skull. Oh lord, and the fake out from the throw. And just like this, Arg is going to take a very quick first round. Definitely not happy of how the very first match unfolded. Let's see if Caffeine can keep it up. Oh, very nice juggle. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the 6HS follow up. Still very nice. Here we go with the big 2D counter hit by Caffeine, but immediately bursted on by RX who manages to take back the momentum and eventually get a wall break. And here we go with the stained man, the stained counter hit. Very good uh, conversion and confirm confirms from him. Oh my lord, here we go with the wake up overdrive by RX. <laughs> and just like this, you, my lord, Caffeine definitely playing out of his mind. He definitely wants to take this round. Let's see how this bends out. And here we go with the cross up successfully blocked. And the oh lord, and no, it's not in your favor, <laughs> lord. Very nice clash in favor of Caffeine manages to take the second round. Let's see how, how this pans out. And the 2k 2d in favor of RX, he goes for the triple overhead. Oh my lord, and the arbiter for the opening. Oh, and the far s counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage, actually. There you go, you are in stained mode, you have to take it. 
And just like this, our X manages to get the wall break very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the Arbiter trying to really uh, hit, <laughs> hit Caffeine out of the air. And just like this, our X manages to put one on the board thanks to the 4S. Very nicely done. <laughs> Let me check real quick uh, the bracket just to make sure that everybody is okay and doing good. I think it's the case. <laughs> okay, here we go with the... Okay, very good. Oh, very good, very good. Okie dokie, bread and cookie. And again with the zoning game by Caffeine, trying to ever so slightly make their way towards Rx, and Rx with the juggle is gonna get a lot of damage. Uses the teleport to close the distance between him and Caffeine. Very nice confirm on the Arbiter, manages to get a full freaking juggle into a wall break. Caffeine with his life ending by a thread and with the for S for the win by RX takes the first round of this third match. Very nice 2S counter hit right there into the Arbiter and again the 6P counter hit for a very nice follow up. Oh, even managed to get the wall, but this is the con <laughs> conversion station, man. Very nicely done. Very nice 6P yet again. Everybody knows, yeah, Testa is probably one of the best 6P in the game. <clears throat> and here we go with the relentless the relentless freaking ah uh, the relentless uh pressure from rx manages to take one more on <coughs> well uh manages to take one more uh, round well one more match actually in currently in the league <coughs> mm. and here we go with <coughs> my bot is sleeping <laughs> Let me help you with this. Uh. <coughs> could not. Oh, okay, could not add. <clears throat> yeah, Ari is definitely doing a good job, man, of handling all of this. But unfortunately, he gets hit price by the uh, by the minion. Caffeine really trying to take this one as. Oh my lord, almost got the draw, that would have been horrible. And here you go, you can see Caffeine struggling with this close, this, uh, the aerial skull from RX and RX just, oh lord, getting the, oh lord, getting, oh, and the wake up S4, the kill, and just like this, we are on match point, RX, match point. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. Mm. <laughs> Very nice 2D counter, uh, 2D whiff punish right there from RX, punishes the 6P attempt. Ah, Lord. Oh. Okay, oh, here we go with our X really trying to get rid of Dominion as much as possible. Try to make their way towards Caffeine. Here we go with the teleport again with the 6P for the punish. <clears throat> Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the cross up, but ah, not okay actually. <laughs> gets, gets the knockdown. Trying to close it out as lord as successful as possible <clears throat> oh lord oh this is gonna be yep <laughs> and rx <laughs> unfortunately rx gets hit by the minion and just like this caffeine staying alive he doesn't have burst though not a lot of resource not gonna lie this is definitely not high hill battle finally manages to force the uh, to force the burst, very, very well done. <laughs> but just like this, he is in the corner. <laughs> Having to deal with Testa pressure. Very nice 2k to the conversion right there. Okay, going for the grab. This time it's an empty. Is he going? Nah. Okay, not investing in the overdrive and the wake up overdrive from Testa. <laughs> oh lord, and Caffeine really trying to get away in order to put their minions on a yeah, and just like this actually rx manages to take it very okay we did it <clears throat> okay, let's see how we can do <clears throat> on to the next battle so it's going to be nas from philippines against rx from japan both players extremely strong have been extremely extremely strong during this tournament have been extremely strong during other tournaments as well so i'm definitely looking forward to this uh, to 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 their respective to their respective performance. Let's see how this pans out. 
And here we go with the Rekka from uh, RX and the, uh, the very nice grab right there from Nas. Oh lord, and Nas using the Roman Cancel to make his uh, whatever move he tried to do completely safe. Very nice juggle from Nas. That was really well done. Oh, and the freaking grab to run up into the offense by RX, man. A very nice block. Oh, look, what the hell? How the hell did this hit? That was crazy. Very nicely done by Nas. He gets the first, uh, the first uh, round. We go again. Badly timed. Midi by our ex gets hit by the uh, gets grabbed actually by Nas. Oh my lord! Here we go with the uh, far S counter hit. Lord, and here we go with. But that was an unfortunate. Okay, but not to such a very good. Uh, that was an unfortunate. Uh, oh lord! Ah, and here we go with the overdrive. Pops the overdrive to hit whatever Axel was trying to hit. And here we go with the Alpha Blade. Mm. Oh lord, and that's unfortunate for him. Nas actually deciding to hold on to his burst. Actually, he didn't have a burst at the time. My bad, that was RX. Okay, here we go. Oh lord. Lord, and here we go with the the counter hit and my lord the alpha blade by RX man Lord and the offense is real man you have to hold it man I'm the big overhead counter hit. this is gonna do a lot of damage man oh lord here we go RX definitely on a oh lord very nicely done by RX manages to take the first uh, the first match pretty convincingly if you ask me. Let's see if Nas is going to be able to adjust to the pace right there. Probably hasn't been playing chip, well against the chip in, a, in quite a long time. Okay, very nice Linsen Geki follow up right there to punish the, uh, the what's it called, the run attempt by RX. Here we go with the grab of RX, switching his option. And here we go with the Alpha Blade. Oh, very nice punish. That was pretty nice hit on by Nas. <clears throat> and here we go. Finally find something. <laughs> oh, Lord. And our X-Man definitely staying very mobile. Trying to uh, fish out as many punishes as possible. He's going to get the kill. Yeah. Very nicely done by RX. Takes the first round. Yeah. So let's see how this pans out. Hopefully for Nas, he's going to be able to... Uh, to bring it back. Here we go with the Suki. No follow up. Okay, no punish right there. Ah, and here we go again with our X Man. Definitely on point when it comes to punishing whatever follow up Axel is trying to do. This seems to be a pretty complicated matchup for Axel, I'm not gonna lie. And here we go with the reactions, man. The RX reactions into the wall break. Overdrive into the wall break. He's gonna get a. Hard knockdown. Here we go with the empty low, and he's gonna get the RC extension into the kill. Yeah, very nicely done by RX. Extremely dominant. It takes the second match as well. Up 2 to 0. And please bear in mind that this isn't even his main. Yeah, or this is his sub, so. Probably a better matchup for uh chip than it is for uh it is for uh for testament, I guess. Yeah, Nas, come on, Nas. You can do it. Believe in you, believe in me, believe in you. <laughs> Here we go with the Alpha Blade and the pressure is real, man. Oh lord, this is going to do a lot of damage. Here we go with, again, Overdrive. Wahlberg is going to do a lot of damage, man. Lord. Oh, here we go with the Alpha Blade and the bad YRC. That was unfortunate. Just like this, RX on match point. Okay, very nice for... Okay. Mm. Okay, very nice 2 HS this time around. Nas manages to hit Rx out of the out of the air. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Nas definitely forced to press some buttons. Not necessarily at the timing that he prefers. Okay. Oh lord, here we go with the overhead. Oh, okay, no Kazunoko combo this time around, but it's okay. That was a lot of damage actually. Lord, and the run up. Oh, here we go. You are right here, but unfortunately for Nas, he wasn't able to get anything out of this quick dust, but it's okay. Very nice reaction from Nas manages to hit Arx out of the air and immediately 
have the extension and kill him and uh, and uh, and basically get the KO. Not kill him. <laughs> kill him would be drastic. But here we go with the delayed overhead right there from Warix. Finds the opening again with the overhead this time around. Counter hit, no confirm on the counter hit. This is unfortunate. Oh lord, and R is just going completely ham and probably gonna go for a yep for an overhead thanks to the fact that Nas had full risk right there and the damage is definitely adding up and the alpha blade man and just like this rx takes it three to nil so the next battle is going to be rf against takarin <laughs> probably both uh the best players of their respective characters so definitely looking forward to how this is going to pan out who is going to uh win the right to go in grand final and here we go start of the match immediate <coughs> dive kick by rf and here we go, both players playing a little bit of the zoning game, a little bit more success by Ta Takarin to try to zone. Oh, and here we go, he gets hit by the bomb, this is unfortunate for him. RF always on point when it comes to juggling with the bomb that his opponent sends towards him. Here we go, this is a very tight situation for uh, Takarin getting hit by both the Meteor, then Minifiles, then the Cavalry, man. And for, here we go, a little bit too far to get hit by the uh, Standing Dust. <coughs> And here we go with Takanin making good use of the, uh, the jump back into uh, as slash. And here we go with the counter hit and the confirm by uh, RF manages to take the first round. It is definitely not over till so let's see how this pans out. <coughs> oh my lord! And again the jump back S counter hit in favor of Takanin. Lord, oh very nice, Lord. That instant block into faultless defense. Well, faultless defense into his block was pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Okay, and here we go. On to the next battle. Oh my lord, yeah, and back to the freaking... Oh, and that tick command grab by RF is gonna get a... Oh lord, and the burst bait. That was godlike, man. Just like this, RF takes D. Uh, well, it takes D. Oh no, that was a badly timed for S. And just like, with the juggle, almost got the kill. But... Yeah, luckily for him, he manages to get the chip kill before Takani realized that he was on block string and in chip uh, chip kill um, um, region basically. But it's still okay. This was just the first match. I'm 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 sure that Takani will find a way to adapt. And here we go with the, oh, the adaptation station by RF. Unfortunately for him, Takani manages to uh, to get a hold of the trumpet, and get the cavalry to get some breathing space. Here we go with Takarin with the confirms, trying to push RF ever so slightly off of him. And here we go again with the dive, and but it, 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 Takarin definitely on point when it comes to hit RF out of the air. And again with another tick command grab by RF. Ah, uh, he tried to go for the instant overhead right there a little bit too late because Takarin was able to, yeah, to sneak in a 2HS. But just like this, okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, and against with the 2k 2d. This is unfortunate. Oh lord. We need just uh, do some stuff here. I am just like this. Takari manages to take it. Oh no, the RF manages to take the first uh, game. Just one second, guys. Well, I, I can't do anything more than that. Token, here we go. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, sorry for the wait. <laughs> and here we go with the Axel Bomber, man. Takarin definitely no stranger to this type of this type of thing, and just like this, Takarin manages to finally take one round of his own, one round apiece. De Takarin definitely wants this one in order to stay in business. We shall see how this pans out. Oh lord, and the air two are in favor of RF and the juggle. Ah, again, too far to get the dust, the quick dust, in order to get the wall break. This is unfortunate for him. Takarin definitely staying. Very calm, very at peace, trying to find the opening as as safely as possible. Basically, very nice run up into the standing S in order to get the uh, opening. This was very well done. 
Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, and the dive into... Oh, I couldn't quite get the fall of this one, for Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord. Lord. I know this sound, this song. Run, run, Roddy Pops. Ashante. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, here we go with the... Uh, the pressure from Faust, actually, from RF, trying to really get the chip kill, I suppose. But unfortunately, he gets opened by the... <gasps> that was huge, actually. Okay, both players definitely in danger, respectively. Oh, and here we go with the 2S for the kill by Takani. Puts one on the board as well. Lots of uh, internal server errors. So guys, I'm really sorry. This is definitely due to the bot or to stream elements bot. It's not my fault. I'm sorry if uh, it happens. I could try to refund you guys, but nah, it's going to take a long time to try to... Uh, I'll try to check it out. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the fishing rod counter hit that did a lot of damage, but Takari definitely forced to, uh, <laughs> forced to, um, how do you say it, to burst. But here we go, back to the bomb, man. Oh no, he couldn't get the follow -up. that would be crazy. Again with the fishing rod. Alright, oh, making really good use of this dive, man. That's crazy. Again with the rainwater and no punish there, but very nice reaction from RF. And very nice reaction from Takanin as well. Definitely seeing that this was not, uh, this was this was not free at all. Haste danka san are eto channel point o tsukatte sore o nyuyoku shite moranai to kedai desu. Eto sono mama link o hatte itadaite mo eto sore sangori koeski wa naranai inde channel point o sono eto chat no hidi eto shita hidari no hou ni aru eto so sono so 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 kore desu. Okay, and here we go with the uh, snail <laughs> from Takarin-san. Takarin, ah, Takarin, oh, finding some very good openings right there. And Takarin definitely running a train and unfortunately was uh, forced RF to burst right there. Oh my lord, an RF. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I just got it. I'm okay. I'm okay. And here we go with... Uh, RF on the verdrop. Uh, RF on the verge of stealing it and he manages to bring it back, man. Lord, RF. RF definitely no stranger to these very clutch situations. And here we go with the standing S into the, uh, I do believe it was a 2 maybe? And <laughs> Young Faust for the save, man, saving his daddy. Again with the very pesky and annoying dive kick from RF. And here we go, he tried to do it again, but it's okay, he's gonna get probably, nope. No wall break, but it's still okay. Oh lord. Oh lord, and uh, oh little Faust, you gotta save your your, your dad. Uh. Whoa, okay, Takanin definitely believing in in the uh, in the win. Definitely believing in the win. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, and the very, very nice use of your RC. Oh lord. And who wins the exchange? It is Takarin. Takarin definitely made good use of his <gasps> Ooh, oh no, and he gets hit by the standing P. Very nice, very, very nice confidence from Takarin. Actually, on the verge of getting his his uh, his run stolen, but still managed to take it however possible. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. Lord. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Maybe I can... I think I know why the internal server thing is is is, is on guys is because there's too many uh songs in the queue so i'm just gonna i'm, I'm gonna um, i'm gonna put the queue limit to like 100 and probably it should it should uh, solve the problem i guess we shall see so you can try to add it now i think it's gonna work now probably not quite sure <clears throat> you can try to add it again i'm gonna try to add it again let's see uh so well let's see what is gonna work S or is this one right? Ah, oh, here you go. It, did, it it worked this time around, right? Oh no, it's not the same actually. Okay, Mimi Neri, I'm gonna try to add yours. I oh, couldn't. Yeah, I don't know. Lord, <laughs> so many sound requests. This is good. I love it when people put sound requests. Okay, and here we go. On to yeah, back to the match. This time around, RF was able to get the first, uh, the first um. How come it that it doesn't? It doesn't re record sometimes, I don't understand. Oh lord! <laughs> sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Ah, Undertale. Yeah, Undertale, it should record though. I don't understand why it doesn't. It's so strange. Anyway, that being said, here we go. 
with uh yeah or f trying ever so slightly to make his way towards takani but takani definitely in prime position right there to get this particular round both characters have their bursts though so definitely do not count or f out lord that 6p was godlike not gonna land the juggle man into the banana i didn't even know it's possible oh you're gonna get ah uh, this is unfortunate uh, this oh and the two gains to two D for the kill and just like this Takani actually on match point right there. If uh yeah yeah actually yeah so RF definitely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord and here we go. Uh with the dive. Okay and here we go. Oh and the four S counter it for the opening. Okay very nice counter hit right there from RF. Again, making use of the counter hit to surprise their enemy and using the command grab for huge amount of damage. Not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. RF going with multiple, um, multiple overheads. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Lord. Oh, and the 6P, man. Look at the distance of the 6P. Oh, finally gets the. Oh, no, and the bird bait. And this is gonna be death. Very nicely done by RF. He manages to stay alive and put one on the board. We have a game, ladies and gentlemen, a match. Two matches apiece. Let's see how this pans out. This is crazy, man. This is completely crazy. Here we go with the snail, the one at home to get hit by it. Oh, Lord, and here we go with RF not afraid to just freaking run up towards his opponent and again doing the, um, well, oh, Lord, okay, okay, okay. Takani not afraid to press buttons even if his wig is on fire, man. This is crazy. There you go with the far S counter hit again. Oh, very nice use of the close S uh, to catch the back dash of his enemy of, of Takani. Oh lord, what was the side switch? It was crazy and the double overhead, man. And just like this, unfortunately for him, the oh okay, okay here we go with the Nani ga deru kana super. Okay, here we go oh, again with the two H S counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Takani definitely on point, not letting it be free at all okay here we go very nice <laughs> very nice catch of the back that is unfortunate though for uh rf still gets hit uh, still manages to get the trumpet on takarin who was able to get it immediately and therefore get uh, some pressure some heat off of him oh lord oh lord and now he gets hit by the oh the fall of the fouls and just like this rf on match point actually manages to bring it back man are definitely on prime position to make his way to the grand finals. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the 2S. No one at home and the close S for the counter hit and entire. Here we go with the snail. Nope. No opening here. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh lord. Oh, and the big overhead counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage, by the way. Oh lord. This hurts so much, man. Oh, okay, here we go with Takani. Not afraid of pressing buttons. Oh, the snail, not the snail, the, the fish. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, okay, and the delay took, I like it. Try to make him press some buttons and hit him. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay, no punish. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This actually caught him. Oh, are you serious? And the meteor, man. This is unfortunate for Takani. He gets hit by all sorts of mixes. Lord, that last sequence for RF was against RX. Again, RX resorting to using... Uh, chip and not testament. Item Zuri. <laughs> Item Zuri, sne. Tashikai. Takani ni kaketa, kaketa nda gedo. So sne, so sne. De, eh, ima no item wa, ah, so sne, kami, mo, mo, honto ni kame, kami item datta nda shio ima. Eto, meteo de, ato, mini fausto de, de, sono tsugi ga nan de shitake. Tashikani, eto, are desu yo ne, sono, eto, trompetto, kana? Ah, chutto, oboite nai desu. Tashikani, sono meteo plus, eto, ai desu. And just like this, we are in losers. Finals going to be take, take, Takarin against our X. Let's see how this pans out. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. And just like this, our X wanting to push Takarin in the corner as soon as possible. Oh, and unfortunately for him, bad recognition that he actually opened his opponent up. And here we go with the two jumping 2D. Okay, here we go. Finally forces the burst by Takarin. Okay, this is anybody's game. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord, and he goes for the overhead. <laughs> okay, no punish now. And the jumping back as for the win. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, okay, here we go. The running 
Okay, running. Oh, Lord, and the... Oh, and the conversion. That was pretty good. Not gonna lie. Here we go with the jumping to the... Oh, no one's at home. This is unfortunate. Oh, here we go with Eureka. Oh, Lord. Nope, nobody's here. And no punish on the snail. This is unfortunate. Still gonna be okay. Might be okay. Here we go with Rx. Definitely fighting for his... Uh... Well, fighting for his chip, basically. He probably does not want to switch to Testament. For some unknown reason. I suppose, yeah, probably the matchup is not specifically in favor of Testament. I really don't know. That being said, here we go. And, and this should do. Woo! And here we go with the conversion. The 6 CRC for the win. Boom! Bye-bye. Finally won. One of the very rare occasions where this, uh, this overdrive actually manages to uh, kill the opponent. Here we go with the juggle. And here we go with RX and the pressure man does not want to let Takanin out of there. And here we go, the jumping bat. Oh, no punish on the uh, whiffed 2 HS. This is unfortunate for him. Okay, here we go. Oh, and the overhead. Nope, no one's at home. Again with the run-up grab. Very nicely done. Using the clones to keep the pressure. The pressure is real. He probably could have gotten a... Uh... No, it's okay. Yeah, this is going to kill. Very nicely done. RX a quick 1-2-0 actually. This is... Uh... This is uh, very surprising. This time around, actually, RX having his chip. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hame. <laughs> Hame. Are, do not tell no. Testament to Henko Shita, dame desu yo, ima. Kattan. Eh? Eh? Uso Takarin san ga Bridget? Eh, kore chutto mite mitai na. Kore tano shi so da na. Eh, maji de. Okay, here we go with Takarin-san actually resorting to use it, Bridget. Okay, this is something. This is new to me. This is really new. I really want to see. This is going to be pretty crazy. Okay, here we go with Takarin using Bridget. Ah, and the big 4S counter hit right there in favor of... Okay, here we go with Takarin. Oh, yeah, Bridget does have a DP. This might be... Buri, buri no debanda. <laughs> buri no debanda. Okay, here we go with uh, Takarin-san. Probably using Bridget because Bridget has uh, a DP, actually. So uh, that might be the reason why. How much you guys don't know? How do you know? How do And here we go. Oh, very nice. Done. And the six. Oh, unfortunately for him, Bridget. Okay, using the teddy bear to uh, lower to uh, to modify her. Uh, oh, Lord, and the conversion. The conversions are real. And just like this, just like this, Takarin actually taking the first round of this uh, encounter very nicely. Then here we go with. Takarin using very, some very optimized stuff from... Oh, Lord, and rock the baby. Here we go. I'm going to rock your world. And here we go with the wake up DP. This is exactly what you took booty, I think, to get chip off of him. And here we go with the 2 HS counter hit. Is this going to kill? Oh, Lord. That was a crazy conversion. And here we go. Oh, booty. 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 That's all. Perfect. And just like this, Takarin takes the first freaking match okay what is rx going to do okay rx resorting to uh keeping chip actually let's see how this pans out oh lord this this music is perfect for bridget by the way <laughs> here we go with the no oh, lord okay wake up um wake up what is called <laughs> okay here we go oh lord and the contest by takarin probably trying to fish a dp from him as his own okay booty forced to burst right there <laughs> Very nice conversion by Tuck, by by RX is gonna get oh almost got the wall break this is unfortunate for him. Okay, here we go the overhead and the alpha blade. And here we go, the pressure is real, man. Oh and the wake up DP finally. <laughs> oh the big 2 HS counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage, but uh, RX actually manages to get out of the pressure using the burst. Okay, here we go, Lord, and the Sukiyaki, and this, oh, almost gonna kill, fortunate for him, the combo didn't connect correctly, very nice wake up DPI, and unfortunately for him, uh, probably a misinput right there, immediate uh, punish by Kikaren on the uh, rollerblades, okay, here we go, and the pressure is real, <laughs> oh, and the command grab for the win, not the win, but, oh, Lord, and the conversion! The conversion station. Here we go. This is going to do a lot of damage. So boom. 40% life gone. Very nicely done by Kikaren. Who said that Bridget does not have damage? Oh, Gary, go with the contest. Bye. 
<laughs> oh lord, and using the roller skate. Okay. Oh lord, and the wake up overdrive by. Alright, is this gonna kill? Oh, it is not actually. Oh, but here we go with the con with the extension using the uh, Roman cancel. Very nicely done, just like this RX two up two to one. Is Takarin going to keep Yaburi? He is actually going to keep Buri. Bridget. Let's see how this spins out. And no six period there on the jumping approach from from RX. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Very nice two K uh, two 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 S right there. Oh, okay, very nice conversion right there from Buri. Let's see how this spins out. Oh my lord, and on point right there from RX, man. You cannot just use the <laughs> the setups of Booty without taking some sort of uh, of um, of risk if it's not in a very specific setup. Oh lord, and the extension station, man. Oh, and here we go with the badly timed meaty, unfortunately for him. For RX, oh, okay, he's gonna get a full combo, actually. Okay, here we go with the overdrive. Grrr, kaboom! Um, um, um. <laughs> that was pretty nice. Here we go, very nice damage. Okay, okay, here we go for the kill. Very nice uh, confirm right there from Takani. Finally manages to take one round. Is he going to be able to take the second one? Let's see. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, very nice 6P right there. From RX manages to get, oh, some pretty decent damage. Okay, here we go with Takani actually using some uh, safe... Uh, let's go. No, Ooh, okay, okay. This is actually pretty, uh, pretty nice. I'm going to lie. Ah, okay, he tried to go for... Her. A aerial grab, unfortunately, RX was a little bit too far in order to get hit by it. Ah, uh, there we go, no delayed. Oh, unfortunately for him, he gets scooped by the overhead. This is gonna be a wall break. Oh lord, okay. Damn, and the backdash from RX, a little bit too quick, man. Too quick to get hit by the, uh, by the motorcycle, unfortunately for him. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, no 6P again. Gets hit by the 2S and 2... Oh, Lord, oh, again gets hit. Yeah, this is not looking very good for Takarin. On the verge of getting eliminated from the tournament. <laughs> ah, it's a little bit too far. Okay, here we go. This is the 2S counter hit. Ah, and the wake up DP yet again from... From Rx, not afraid. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. Yes, and the DP very nicely done. Oh my lord, and the delay on the walk, on the on the drop, man. Ah, this is probably gonna kill. Yeah, this is probably gonna kill. Ah, uh, no, actually not. This super deals zero damage. So yeah, it's not gonna kill. <laughs> Here we go with potentially the final phase, and unfortunately for Takani, he is eliminated. Taken out by... Uh, so who won? It was Oryx. Yeah, Oryx. Oryx won. There you go. And I'm going to go real quick to the toilet while I still have some time. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry. Okay, sorry for the small intermission, and here we go with RX already managing to take one round off of Faust, off of RF, actually. Very nice use of the fishing rod right there from RF. He's gonna get a side switch, plus potentially, yep, a wall break. Very nicely done. RFX, exactly, the, the, the ultimate fusion. <laughs> here we go with the Arbiter to try to snipe RF out of the air. Very nice use of the teleport also to catch his opponent off guard. And what are you going to do? I'm going to do this. I don't even know if you can punish this. Oh, okay, here we go with... Oh, very nicely done, unfortunately for him. Many, many fouls for the for the save, actually. And the Arbiter for the snipe and the kill. First round, first match goes to RX, actually. Very nicely done. This is crazy. Okay, he has a... Uh, it's not impossible, not impossible. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, let's see how this pans out, actually. Very nice use of the stain. Got... 
disdain and the recognition from Arv that he can actually, uh, well, basically grab his opponent. He goes for the double overhead, triple overhead, and the conversion, but unfortunately gets hit by his own, uh, his own attack. This is unfortunate. Here we go with the bomb. Oh, and the big lateral skull. Oh, here we go with Arv finally forced to burst there. Okay, he's gonna get the wall. No, oh, that would have been crazy if he managed to get the conversion. Nice recognition from RX that RF was gonna go for another uh, command grab. Oh, and no, siree, you will not typhoon me. <laughs> this is exactly what RX said right there. Okay, here we go back to the neutral. Good use of the skulls. And again, it's counter hit on counter hit right there. RX refusing not to press a button. <laughs> and here we go. No wall break, unfortunately, for him. Here we go, we have two hammers, one banana, and uh, unfortunately for RX, he couldn't, he all oh, went the Meteor also. Okay, very nice recognition of RF that the, um, what is called, the Quick Dust actually hit his opponent, he was able to Roman cancel it and get a follow-up into the wall break, and this time around, RF killing with the Fishing Rod, good stuff. The Spear. Okay, back to neutral. A oh, very nice counter hit, but couldn't quite get any follow-up off of it. You can see RX that as soon as RF takes a little bit of distance, RX uh, uses the Arbiter to try to, yeah, exactly as this, to try to punish the attempts of RF to try to use the Spear. Okay, here we go, and I think that RF is trying to, is starting to catch up on it. Very nice use of the TP right there from RF. Couldn't quite get anything off of it because RX was definitely on point somewhere around. Okay, no, um, no tension bar to try to extend the combo there. But it's still looking pretty good for RF, not gonna lie. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, you have to hold it. And unfortunately gets hit by the the, the the blast of the bomb just like this. RF up one uh one one match apiece actually. Let's see how this pans out. Ah uh, there you go with this pesky, this really annoying uh, dive. Yeah, it's probably the best dive in the game, if you ask me. Here we go with the Arbiter, no one is at home, but very nice conversion from RX on the... Oh, oh, this was a bad burst by RF, this is unfortunate. RX is going to benefit from a wall break, but very nice recognition from RF and a uh, hit confirm also by RF. He hits yet against his opponent with the Spear, this is going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> nope. Wake up overdrive and very nice aerial grab by RF RX, I'm sorry. And the Arbiter for the kill. Okay, RX one up one round. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord. Ah, and again the spear for the very for the snipe, if I might say. Ah, and this aerial counter hit from RX and the quick 60 from RF man. Here you go. With RX hitting RF with an XP of his own. Okay, there we go, the snipe using the aerial skull to intercept his opponent. Here we go, the pressure is real. You have to eat it. Okay, RF finally manages to get out of the corner. Oh, and he says the spear to catch a back dash. Here you go back to Nani Oh, he's got the meteors. Yeah, that was that was cheeky, man. Oh no, and the bad. A bad wake-up burst right there from RF, potentially, yeah, potentially throwing the match, uh, unfortunately. And just like this, RX is up two games on the verge of of resetting the bracket, actually. Let's see how this turns out. Very nice use of the Arbiter yet again to snipe his opponent out. But here we go with many Faust here to save the day, save his daddy. Very nice 6 speed with their counter hit. Oh lord, and yet again the dust a little bit too far to try to reach his opponent. Here, RF got the, uh, the command grab. <laughs> it's gonna get a pretty nice combo into wall break. No tension to uh, secure a hard knockdown though, but it's still okay. He still has a decent life lead, plus burst, plus confirms, and plus first round. Very nicely done. <clears throat> On to the second round. Oh lord, that jump in. No check from RF. <laughs> here we go with the meteors, and yes, you have to eat it. Okay, here we are with the conversions and the wall break. No use of the tension this time around for RF to try to get the hard knockdown. Probably better that way. 
Oh, okay, here we go with the bomb. The bomb ping pong. Oh, Lord. <laughs> here we go. Unfortunately, a little bit too late to get uh, the... Oh, but it's still okay. Here we go with RF managing to take it very convincingly. And we are two matches a point. Oh, two matches um, um, a point? Hmm? Two matches a... Uh, Hmm, uh, two, both opponents have two matches. <laughs> On to potentially the final round of the set. Uh, if RX manages to win this one, the bracket will be effectively reset. Whereas RF, if he manages to win this, he wins the tournament. Let's see how this pans out. Hmm, okay, here we go. Yes, here we go with RX manages to hit RF with the Arbiter. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. Ah, and here we go with... Or F. Oh, or F using the yellow Roman cancel to try to get some, ah, uh, some, <coughs> some heat off of him, making a very nice use of the spacing, man. Ah, and again, <laughs> unable to quite punish the, uh, unable to quite punish the, uh, oh, the dive, man. Oh, and here we go with the six P to catch the bag dash. Oh Lord, no punish on the dive yet again. And here we go with potentially that. No! Oh, that was close. Ah, yes, and guess it by the meteor. This is really unfortunate for RX. He was on the verge of taking it. And here we go on potential tournament point. Let's see how this pans out. No punish on the uh, IAD right there. And here we go with RX. Lord, here we go with the triple overhead, man. He's gonna get the wall break. Things are looking pretty good for him. Not gonna lie. Oh, Lord, unfortunate for him. He gets hit by the. Again, the, the dive, man. That freaking dive. Everybody hates it. Oh, he's gonna get the Nasdrovia. Nasdrovia. Ah, and this is gonna kill, actually. Very nicely done by, uh, uh, by, uh, by RX. Okay, still tournament points. RX needs this one if he wants to reset the bracket. Let's see how this pans up. <laughs> oh, here we go. A nice stain. Nice little stain. Oh, Lord, and the 6 speed. <gasps> oh, no! It's gonna do a lot of damage. What are you gonna do? You're stain. Oh, here we go. <laughs> RF getting the hell out of here. He said, No way, I'm not getting hit by this. Here we go. RX actually playing out of this mine. Not gonna lie. Stuff is looking pretty good for him. And the augmenter for the kill. And just like this, we have a bracket reset. Here we go. That's what we're talking about. Very nicely done by. RX resets the bracket effectively, and we are now going back to the absolute final final. <laughs> okay, here we go. Grand final reset. Uh, we are good to go. Hi, it's the Modai Jobu desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. It was 2 uh, 3 to 2, yeah. <clears throat> so, 3 for RX, 2 for RF. So, we're going on to the absolute grand final. Hey, it's the Modai Jibu desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Okay, let's see if RF... Yeah, RF is ready. He was probably just, like, composing himself. This is the grand final reset. The bracket has been effectively reset. Let's see how this pans out. Is RX going to be able to bring it? To bring it back from the dead, man. I don't even know who sent him in the losers, actually. That being said, here we go. Start of the round. Immediate counter hit on the uh, dive kick. And here we go with the trigger of the mini faust, unfortunately for him. Oh, and we go with the overhead. Very nice punish right there. <laughs> Very nice 6P. And no, you are not going to hit me with your dive. Nice conversion right there from RX. Okay, he got the stain. Okay, using also the aerial skull to try to oh to snipe RF out of the corner. Uh, out of the um out of the air. And here we go with the very nice wall break. Oh, here we go with the skull. Oh no, where's the trumpet? You forgot the trumpet. Lord. Okay, here we go. Yeah, RX actually maneuvering around. Oh, is this gonna... No, he drops it. No, this is unfortunate. This is gonna kill, yeah. Well played by RF. Making good use of the drops and securing a win of his own. First round goes to RF. Ah, oh, Lord. Here we go with the big 6P counter hit. RX already in the corner. 
Ah, uh, but very, very, very brave attempt of him. Well, to, and successful attempt of walking straight and smashing with s six feet. Uh, again with RF using the uh, the spear, man. Oh, again with the spear. His spear use has been pristine, man. Very nice reflex from RX2. Block the quick dust right there. And, whoa, lord, I think that was a misinput. I mean, RF definitely, like, unleashing the, the ultimate, the ultra instinct right there. Ah, no. A little bit too... Oh, okay, here we go. Almost got the conversion. That, that would have been crazy. Here we go with RX using the triple overhead. <laughs> RF definitely fishing for this, uh... For the, uh... Oh, lord, that was big. Not gonna lie. Oh, no. Oh, he gets a knockdown. This is... A good opportunity for him to actually get the kill, and RX actually brings it back. That was crazy good, man. Very nice stuff. <clears throat> and here we go. Ah, uh, Lord, and the big 6P immediately pushing RX in the corner. He's gonna not get hit by the Afro, actually. Look, here we go with the bomb. Nope. Big 6P right there in the spear attempt of Faust. Oh, here we go. Oh, man, he's just actually hit Faust out of his uh, dive. Ah, oh, very nice contest right there from RX. Ah, uh, he almost got the knockdown. <laughs> A little bit too late on the Arbiter. This is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, we go to RF with the Typhoon. Manages to close the distance and get the extension with the R Roman Cancel. Very nice. Uh, oh, Lord. Lord, the conversion station. Look at this. And just like this, RX takes the lead. One match nil lord coming back from the dead literally <laughs> using testament ah this is pretty cool hey, okay here we go with the big six p right there hits rf out of his dive oh okay, here we go with the extension very nice burst right there from rf ah oh no rf again hit by d arbiter oh lord that was a big i think this is the 2s i'm not quite sure i think it is though Oh lord, and again the close S counter hit. Very nice confirm with the extension by RF. Oh, nice block on the Arbiter. <laughs> Using Mini Faust to get some leeway, to get some heat off. And again with the pristine use of the Arbiter by RF, by RX, I'm sorry, to uh, to uh, to, to basically um, entire his enemy, man. It's crazy. Very nicely done. Just like this testament, well, not testament, but RX on the on the verge of uh, of getting a very decent uh, a very decent lead, actually. Not gonna lie. Here we go with Mini Faust to save the day yet again. <laughs> okay, here we go with the bomb. Okay, very nice stuff by R by RX. He wants to keep the pressure. Okay, he's got his enemy stain. He's gonna get a. Ah, hard knockdown. Okay, very nice back dash into the 2k 2d by RX. Unfortunately for him, there's a banana. There's a banana. Oh no, bad news. Okay, he tried to time the uh, his RC with the. Ah, uh, but it's okay. He still got the kill. Very nice stuff. And RX up two. Came back from the dead in grand finals. Reset the bracket and now up two. <coughs> two matches against RF, man. Very nice stuff. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, here we go with the command grab. RF definitely not out of this. You cannot count this man out. Here we go with the overhead. The instant overhead using the um, the afro. <clears throat> oh lord. Okay, here we go with the 6 speed. Brave 6 speed, not gonna lie. <laughs> Again with Mini Faust pinning our eggs down. And the badly time grab right there. Well, I suppose Mini from, uh, from RF wasn't able to get out of the grab. And here we go with... Oh, again with Mini Faust, man. Okay, very nice maneuvering though by, by Arx, not gonna lie. Maneuvering around the uh, the big the big weights and stuff. And the bombs and Mini Faust, man. It's, oh, Lord! And the grab! Lord! And Arbiter again? No, you will not! Uh, ooh, and the dust. He tried. He believed in it. He thought it was gonna be enough, but no. Oh Lord, and he died for the win. Okay, RF so showing some signs of uh, of of life right now. Definitely not out of this yet. Very nice jump in HS by RX. Oh, okay, that was a very close. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. The bomb. 
still okay. Didn't get hit by quite much actually. And the TP to try to get as close to RF as possible. RF with no dive this time around. Instant dive now. Managed to get the freaking Nostrovia, man. And Nostrovia? I think it's, it's probably not Nostrovia. I don't know what, but it's okay. Who cares? It. He managed to get the hit and the jump in. And just like this, we are on match point four. RX back from the dead. About to 3 0 RF in the bracket reset, man. It's crazy, here you go with the stain, you are stain, you have to, ooh, respect, respect my authority. You go with the Arbiter, nope, ah, oh, and Minifaust just not minding his own business. Look, here you go with Trigger of uh, Minifaust, I think he tried to use TP, invincibly frames to go through, make uh, the hurt box of, uh, the hitbox of uh, Minifaust to go through it. It's really crazy, and just like this, man, almost there, almost there, RX with the, uh, with uh, the very, uh, just one second. Second, please. There we go. And here we go. Almost done. Our X on the verge of taking it. It's not over till it's over. Ah, and the bomb. Nope. Nope. Our being extremely patient. Doesn't want to uh, overextend. He'd rather like stay far away and just attempt to zone his opponent. Try to take it as slowly as possible. Both opponents a little bit uh, un un unwilling to really commit to their own. Uh, and just like this. Just like this, Faust. RF finally takes one and puts one on the board. It's not over till it's over, I say. Really, really crazy stuff, man. This is crazy. Win the crown, exactly. This is what you should do. Oh, Lord. Eikan no tsukame. Tsukamu ga Good luck, good luck, RX. Let's see how we can do it. Okay, here we go with the Afro Testament. Gets hit by fire. Unfortunately for him, he's gonna explode <clears throat> okay and here we go with again rx is back to the wall but not out of this yet oh, okay here we go the contest probably smelled that rx rf wanted to go for a command grab and rightfully so just like this is gonna get the stain still state into the wall break okay and here we go with rx Oh, and the bomb, oh my lord, that snipe was godlike. And just like this, RX again. Tournament points. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, the very nice 6P. The very nice 6P to uh, hit Testament out of the air. Uh, can't quite get in, man. You see RF as soon as he's really on the verge of losing, it's really hard to open him afterwards. Oh, lord, and the spear for the damage, man. Oh, lord, you get hit. Ah, uh, I'm mini fouls just here, dude. Annoy the hell out of him. Again with Mini Faust. Again with Mini Faust. And the... Okay, no. Uh, no oh, Lord. And... Yeah, it's, it's probably... <clears throat> okay, the YRC for the... Oh, the badly timed uh, aerial attack by Faust, by RF. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, too far. Too far. That's unfortunate for him. Too far to get... D2K, but it's okay. Stale match point by RX. Let's see how this pans out. <coughs> oh, okay. Here we go with the spear. Very nice use again of the Arbiter to hit uh, RF out of whatever he was trying to throw on the stage. Here we go with the extension using Faust, uh, Mini Faust again. Oh, and the spear, man. This guy, you cannot pin him down. And again, the spear. This is probably going to be death, actually. And the banana though. Is it, yeah, this is gonna be dead. Yes, it is. And just like this, we are going on to the final match of this. It's going down to the wire, I feel. It's gonna go down to the final match of the final round, man. The final round of the final match, actually. Here we go. This is definitely the final match of today's tournament. This has been crazy. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. Let's see who deserves to win the most. Oh, okay, here we go with the spear. And again, the pristine use of the Arbiter by RX to punish R uh, RF from pressing button. Oh my lord, here we go. He goes completely ham, man. Look at everything. All of the life that has been gone from RF, man. Oh, and the big 6P. And again, match point for RX. Third freaking time. Please. <laughs> Please, RX. Almost there, man. Here we go with the Arbiter and again mini files for the save. Too far to get the Arbiter hit this unfortunate. Again the Arbiter. Oh, here we go. Oh lord, yeah. Oh no you don't. Again man, very good use of everything by Rx man. 
Gets hit by the unfortunate hammer. This is unfortunate. Here we go with the Arbiter. He's just... Oh, he's going with the Arbiter, man. Oh, the 6B! He conditioned him to jump. He conditioned him to jump. And what comes after a jump from...